Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today on the channel we're going to be featuring a team based all around the dragon type Gudra. Now Gudra is a dragon type that in my opinion is a little underused in this format. It is an incredibly strong tanky Pokemon that has some offensive pressure as well. We went with an assault vest in this team build and paired up with the Whimsicott there for the speed control and then partnering that with the Excadrill, the Passimian, Chandelier and rounding the team off with Vanillic. So it's a bit of a fun team that we're going to be featuring today but um, I'm I'm kind of hoping that we come up against some sun teams because sun at the minute is pretty popular um and gudra does an incredible job it's got that sap strength strength ability you know immune to grass types and particularly immune to sleep powder so making it very strong against things like venusaur with the assault vest very strong against charizard can hit back for good damage it's got the sludge bomb the max ooze there as well to boost its own attack and then we've got fake tears as well and the whimsicott to pair up with that nice tailwind so we've got a lot of options in the team as always there will be a rental team at the end of the episode as well as a poker paste in the description so if you guys want to try out the team stick around till the end of the episode and you can pick that up and if you do try it definitely let me know what your thoughts are on the team and i hope you have a lot of fun with it either way now we've got our first opponent of the episode and running a team of whimsicott malamar excadrill sylveon uh indeedy and lapras so we've got some shenanigans going on here you know you've got the malamar it's got that contrary ability so any drops that it would potentially get are turned into boosts. Uh, Got to be very careful around that Pokemon in particular. Um, not a great too many ways to hit that for super effective damage because we've not got a fairy type of our own in the team apart from the the Whimsicott where we could potentially make use of it there. Um, Whimsicott on the opposing side of the field as well with the speed control potentially fake tears charm to boost that mile more even further so we've got to be very careful around that and this is where something like uh redirection would be really useful for us but we don't have that so we're gonna have to look at different ways to get around this pokemon so um what are we gonna do i think we want to lead with whimsicott for sure um whimsicott and we could potentially there's no yeah we could potentially go Ooh, we're gonna have to lock in really quickly um Oh, we're not even re we're running out of time. This is a classic, classic start to the episode. Giving ourselves a handicap to begin with. Um, and literally just because I'm talking way too much. But it's all right. We're leading off with the Gudra and the Whimsicott. They're the kind of key parts of this team. They're where I started with the team. We built up around that pairing up. Um, some other interesting Pokemon with these two to help us around some particularly difficult matchups. Uh, as we were saying, and we talked ma the majority of the time about that Malmar. That is what we're going to see coming out first for my opponent. Um, it's going to be very, 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 very difficult to deal with for sure. Um, we probably want to get rid of the, the opposing Whimsicott as soon as we can, um, in all honesty. Like, if I can just double into that now, uh, they'll probably Tailwind, but I want to... Like, if they do Tailwind, that's great, because then they're not boosting their, their Malamar um, further than what we want it to. Um, and if it is maxing, that's fine, because honestly, it's not going to have access to, like, superpower and things like that, which would be more threatening, more detrimental to us, I guess, in this situation. So we'll see my opponent does from their end i'm kind of hoping that we can get rid of remove the whimmy straight away that's what we kind of want to be doing hopefully the malamal goes for max darkness maybe max max psychic i don't know mind storm i don't know could try and set the terrain i guess it kind of prevents our whimsicott from doing very much although we can't really do much to the malamal anyway because of its dark typing um we are going to see a charm which is not ideal so there's going to be plus two attack straight off the bat this is why we want to get rid of the um the whimsicott as soon as possible because we're going to see the smack darkness it's going to be plus two which is not great and does a massive chunk to our gudra um hmm. okay we are going to get the max use we'll get rid of the whimsicott and we still got access to our Tailwind this next turn if we, if we really want it. And we get the, at least a, a boost, special attack boost. So, 
That's good. I feel really threatened though from this Marmor straight away and it's a bit of a pain. It's like, uh, it's such a difficult Pokemon to deal with, especially when, like it's fine if you've got a fairy type in your team. Like 100%, really like all day long. You're like, give me Marmor, I'll deal with it. <laughs> but when you haven't, it does become a little bit more tricky. So the Excadrill hitting the field now. Hmm. Now, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we? Um, like, I don't want to go for Max Wormend because the one problem with that is uh, we go for that and then we boost the Marmar's attack even further. Uh, I think we've got to go for the Max Flare. Hope it's not sashed Excadrill and go for a Tailwind with our Whimsicott. If we can get rid of the Excadrill here, I... I... Yeah, well, we're going to see a Protect. We are going to probably lose Gudra. In the process, but we potentially break a sash um, on the Excadrill. So that's not the worst thing in the world. Let's see how much damage. Okay, so it's not too bad. <sighs> Mama. Max Rockfall. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna boost the Excadrill speed. But it doesn't actually take down our Gudra. Okay, so we do actually get through the turn, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Although, Excadrill now going to be in a position to pick up the knockout onto our Gudra this next turn. Because it's going to be, uh, going to be Sand Force, for sure. Now, what Pokemon have we got in the back? Because we didn't select the Pokemon, <laughs> did we? So it doesn't make it. We've got Excadrill and Pissimian. Hmm. But the weakness policy on Excadrill, so we could potentially get a get a weakness policy procked, and then we've got to hope that we are going to be faster than the opposing Excadrill, which we might be. If that's Sand Force and it's Adamant, we're we're jolly, Max. So you know, with the Tailwind up, it, it works. All right, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, now, do we preserve our Whimsicott and bring in Persimian to sack that? Um, Persimian, what can we do to the Malamar? We could knock it off. Maybe that's not a bad idea because we bring the Persimian in. Hopefully, we take, like, we get through this turn. Okay, then the next turn, we take down the Excadrill, get a knock off into the Malamar. Get rid of whatever item it's got. Do some decent damage. Put it into Moonblast kill range. Get Wimmy back in. Knock that thing out when it's not Dynamaxed anymore. And uh, happy days. That's That would be ideal. Doesn't look like that's going to be what's happening here. As we see an Earthquake come out from the Excadrill. It is going to be Life Orb. Max Mindstorm. Huh. It's into Excadrill. Okay. That's perfect. All right. That's not the worst thing in the world. Unless that is like... Well, no, no, unless it is Jolly Sand Force, Sand Rush, which I don't think it, it I don't think it's going to be, I really don't, I really don't think it's going to be Jolly, uh, like you just got Adamant Sand Rush, that is the optimal, like nature, unless you're in this exact situation, <laughs> and then, and then you're better off going for, um, Jolly, but I think we might with the tailwind up. We might outspeed it. The problem is if they protect here on our tailwind. I'm gonna go into the knockout. I'm gonna just go for the play that we talked about. I think that's the way that we can get back into this game. So we do actually outspeed the opposing X drill. That's perfect. Okay, ideal. Get rid of that threat. There's a sand rush. So it was adamant. Unless we did speed tie, we get the knockoff and do decent damage now it's in moonblast range we get rid of the uh assault vest as well now we probably will lose oh oh okay simian gone down i prefer this because i kind of want to keep excadrill like out of the two excadrill is probably the one that I, i'd prefer to keep now the the marmar is definitely 100 percent in moonblast range now so it all comes down to what my opponent's last pokemon is we'll get the rank master whimsicott in right come on could be worse it definitely could be worse um do i rock slide or do i just iron head the lapras um
Rock Slide could miss. I'm going to Iron Head. And I'm going to go for the Moon Blast into the Marmar. And hope it doesn't have... Yeah, it does not protect. Okay, so we'll get rid of the, the Marmar. Thankfully! Okay, but it's not over. We've got to deal with this Lapras now. Lapras is like one of those Pokemon that you just don't want. You know, we want the flinch. That's what we want. We want that flinch. Come on, get the flinch. Oh, <laughs> we get it. Yes, come on. The RNG gods are constantly shining down on us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, we're fine now. Because a Moonblast and an Iron Head will be able to get it. Um, and... Guys, it's all about believing in the RNG. That's all you got to do. You got to believe in the RNG, and the RNG will come to you. It's like a, it's like a, a weird religion. Uh, if you've got pure faith, then then will you'll always get it. We get the <laughs> special attack drop as well, which is a little unfortunate for my opponent. Um, yeah, and then we do pick up the win. So, whoosh, come through unscathed. Get past that Malmar. So scary in the beginning. Um, and uh, considering that we didn't even lock in. A team to start with eh, that was pretty lucky but I mean we'll take it and uh, I, I guess it shows that the team can work with that mode <laughs> for Pokemon as well and um, so we get a, a good old bomb mushroom for our troubles there um, and we'll move on to our next opponent and hopefully we can keep the streak going hopefully we can that would be ideal come on come on but I do really love Gudra. I would like to like if you if you've played Gudra this season, it'd be great to hear your opinions on it. Like drop a comment down below and let me know. I do really like it's one of those Pokemon that I always look at and I always think I need to build around Gudra and I never do. And it gets to the, normally the end of the season. I'm like, and I why haven't I touched Gudra? It's such a good Pokemon. And then you see players coming along with it at certain points, especially when Sun is such a powerful thing, and it does so well. So it's good to get into it now. And uh, let's not get into the trap of um, not going into. Team preview until it's like 20 seconds left. So we've got our next opponent, Whimsicott, Lapras, Incineroar, Durant, Buffetel, and Snorlax. So kind of a hybrid Trick Room, Tailwind team. Uh, lots of bulky Pokemon. Big threats in the Durant, of course. Fake Out in the Incineroar and the Gothitel. I'd imagine we'll probably see Gothitel Durant lead here uh, for my opponent, potentially. Um, hmm. What are we going to do, though? What are we going to do? Um, could we bring... Would it be better to bring Chandelier here? Maybe? Especially against Durant, potentially. Hmm. We could go Chandelier Gudra. And then... I mean, Persimian here isn't bad, but I don't expect my opponent to lead Incineroar because we've got that. I think let's go with Wimmy and Excadrill. Yeah, okay, let's lock in. Uh, I feel like Team Pre... I feel like I need another 90 seconds in Team Pre. I talk way too much, and yeah, I'm just trashing, trashing the place now. Banging my mic around. Uh, yeah, I talk way too much. I'm talking way too much today. It's probably because I'm quite excited to get recording again today because it's been a little... Well, it's been nearly a week since I've put a Battle Series episode up. Uh, so, obviously, I enjoy these days. Hopefully, I can get some more time to do more of these videos. I've got, like, a bunch of teams ready to go. I just need some... Um, I literally just need a bunch of uh, Battle Points so I can get some mints to get these Pokemon ready. So... Start of next month, going to be exciting. We've got the Durant and the Whimsicott up for my opponent. Um, they've got to go into Chandler, right? They've got to go into Shandy. They have to. They have to. Like, I'm going to come into Excadrill. I'm going to max and go Max Flare into the Durant. Because you should take a Max Rock Fall, if that's what comes out. We, 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 we might see a Max Quick from the Durant, of course. So that's a, like, it's a definite possibility. Um, and if it is that, you know, we have to just take that on the chin. And it's like we've made that decision. I'm kind of wanting to keep Chandelier around rather than, than lose it. It's a, it's a nice trick room 
option for us if we need it and it's a nice way for us to reverse the trick and we do see it come out from my opponent we are going to see the durant max i mean if we get this max flare off into the durant even with a special defensive boost i can't see it surviving that like unless it's like seriously invested um i just i yeah i don't know doesn't feel like it's gonna we're gonna see tailwind tickle <laughs> okay, well, we'll lose an Excadrill. That's fine. That's fine. Max Quake. No, Max Rockfall. That's better. That's better for us because the Max Quake would give the, the special defense boost. We don't want to have to deal with that. And uh, it does mean that we... Uh, that Good old Excadrill. Lives to see another day. So that is ideal for us as we get the Max Flare off with our Gudra doing some work. And uh, wow. Wow. It actually takes it. Huh. Let's focus Sash, okay. That's a cheap that's a cheap move. <laughs> How dare you! I'm not allowed to do that. Um alright. Uh I think we just rock slide. Hmm, did we rock slide at all? Just iron head the Durant. Um I'm going to rock slide. It's a little risky because it could miss the Durant, but I don't feel like we're going to. And I'm going to go for a Max Wormant into Durant. Wow. Going to switch out. They want to preserve it for later. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Comes in. Snorlax. All right. That's fine. I'm going to see the whims it got to go for. No tickle. Just feeling, feeling very generous with these tickles today, this whimsical. Okay, well, we've got a rock slide. It's not going to do much. It chips down a little bit. Nice damage onto the Snorlax there with a crit. And see a bit of damage onto the whimsical. Max Worm went here is pretty nice because now it does put the, the Snorlax, it does decrease its attack. Um, I'll put that minus one there. Uh... And we're in a really, you know, we're in a really nice position this next turn to potentially go for a Max Ooze. Uh, we're going to see the Snorlax go for a Belly Drum, for sure. <laughs> it's definitely what we're going to see. It's just kind of like we could get rid of the Whimsicott. Uh, it's probably better if we do. We'll go for the Chandelure in place of the x -Drill. We set those Tickles, and we'll go for a Max Ooze into the Whimsicott. Get rid of it. And then we've got our own Whimsicott in the back. Um... I do think that the Snorlax is going to go for the, the Belly Drum here, though. You would imagine that's the set that it is, especially with the, the Berry. Do you see another Tickle here? Um, that's all the Wimmy's doing, so I don't mind that. We do get a special attack boost onto our Chandelure. be interesting to see what the, um, the Snorlax goes for. Likelihood is, though, we're going to have to probably sacrifice something or switch the Shandy out. Uh, to get Whimsicott onto the field so we can get a Tailwind. And that should give us... Ooh, Yawn Snorlax. Nice. I like, I like. Okay, I do like that a lot. Agudra is in a, a tough spot here. Uh, especially if Durand comes in now. Oh, it's going to be Lapras. Huh. Huh. Really don't mind that, actually, because I can just switch out Gudra now. Um, get Excadrill onto the field. And just Heat Wave. I mean, why would I not do that? We're plus one with us, Chandler. Chandler is like the most ridiculously strong special attack, or one of the, the strongest special attackers in the game. We've got the sun up as well, so <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot of damage. Shandy can take this home for us, pretty sure right now. So we'll get the Excadrill in. Uh, we'll ignore that yawn. Um, this is thick fat Snorlax, which would make sense. You know, it's going to be able to, to take it a little bit better. So, wow, we do some nice damage there, and it is going to be the yawn into the chandelier, so that's fine. Um, kind of would prefer not to um, not have chandelier go to sleep. I'm going to bring in Wimmy because this this will give us the opportunity now to um, get the tailwind up with Whimsicott and even though we have got the, the plus one special attack it is a little bit annoying that we have to reset that but I mean in the grand scheme of things it's fine like we, we, we're aiming to get Wimmy onto the field so we can get a tailwind up so we can 
deal with the, the Durant better because the Durant coming onto the field is a pain in the butt because of its speed here. So we're going to see a Hydro Pump. Exegrill does avoid, but I, I'd stand by us taking that in the sun and that would only proc our weakness policy. So, um, even though it does seem quite fortunate for us, I mean, it's still, it's fine because now we just get a Tailwind up and we go for... We just go for an Iron Head. We don't need to risk anything. We don't need to risk going for the um, the Rock Slide here. The Durant does protect. And the thing is, even if Excadrill goes down to a Hydro Pump, right? It's fine. We get a switch into Chandelier and we can just get rid of the, the Lapras that way. So there's the Iron Head. Hydro Pump. It does connect. But I mean, we don't even need to do that, really. You know, we just bring in Gudra. We just Moonblast the Durant, and then we Thunderbolt the Lapras. And Gudra can finish this game off for us, so that that's going to be pretty nice. Right. I do love you, Gudra. You're, Gudra's great. Gudra is so great. Moonblast into the Durant. We'll be able to get rid of it there, and then Thunderbolt into the Lapras. Or to the Lapras have the weakness policy. And just clean up this game. <laughs> It's gonna happen. Nah, it's not gonna happen. It's all right. We've got we've got fake tears as well, so we'll be able to deal this lapras. Whatever happens, I don't think it's gonna be able to knock out a Gudra even plus two. Ooh, that's that's decent damage. It's something like lapras, and there's the weakness policy. So we called it. We called it. <laughs> Is it gonna bite us? Here we go. Here's a freeze dry. Let's see. Some tasty damage there. It's good, but it's not strong enough because now we can just go for the big tears and then another Thunderbolt, and that is going to be game. So we do pick up two wins uh, with the Gudra team, which is amazing. And we got to kind of see some nice options there from the Gudra. Uh, also, other members of the team performing really well, you know. Um, so. I'm actually quite happy with the two matches that we've kind of showcased today. It's showing elements of the team um, and different parts of it. I think we've featured all six, have we? Have we featured all six Pokemon in the team today? Um, maybe, maybe. Maybe we left one out. I don't know, but um, it feels like we have. Like I said at the start of the episode, I will be doing a rental code for this team. Um, and what I haven't realized as well, when, when you take a rental code away, and don't make it public anymore, which is really frustrating because you can only ever post six rental teams at one time. So the old rental teams that I posted from previous videos, I've had to take down to post new ones, which is really frustrating because I didn't realize that at the time. Now people are watching old videos. So what I'm going to try and do is run through my shield copy um, and then all the old uh, rental teams that I've had that I've unfortunately taken down. I'm going to put back up on my shield copy and I'll post those out as soon as we've done that. Um, so that is a way for us to have like at least 12, 12 rental teams at a time. And you know, the format will kind of move on. So there will be points where the the older teams won't be as relevant anymore. Um, manage teams to share. So we need to get rid of something here, which is hmm, questionable. Which one do we want to get rid of? Because, you know... I'm guessing players are using like all of them, really. Um, I mean, the Toxtricity one is probably one to maybe get rid of. Uh, the the Grim Snarl, I definitely don't want to get rid of that just yet. Uh, the newer ones, probably not. So yeah, we're gonna have to, I think, get rid of the this one. Don't make public. And you know, it's not like I've not got these Pokemon anymore. I've still got all the Pokemon. The teams are all there. So it's just a case of me trading them over to Shield and then creating the new rental teams. So uh, the one for this week is this one. So we want to make this Gudra team public. Um, and there we go. So it should be good. Vanillux was the only one that we didn't really get to feature today, which is a little bit sad because I do love Vanillux. It's a really good Pokemon. And uh, we can have a look at this one here. And there is the rental team, my friends. So have a lot of fun with it. If you do try it, remember I uh, did ask, let me know what you think of the team. Have a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you do. Um, leave a Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this episode. Do subscribe to the channel for more of this content, more news, updates, and things like that. All Pokemon orientated. And um, we'll be back very soon with another video. And uh, until then, my friends, all I'm going to say is thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.